Hi, it's Hopkey, and welcome to this screencast looking at how to add Google Fonts to Pano 2 VR 6.1. Okay, so I've got Pano 2 VR open, it's got a single node, and I've added a info point hotspot. If I click on this, you can see that I've given it a title, and in the description, I've given it some information text. Okay, I'm going to go over to the skin editor, and in the components toolbox, I'm going to add the info pop up. Here we go, so let's close, save, and publish. And let's see what we got. Now this is using the default fonts. So if I open it up, you'll see that we've got, we're using the same font, but the title one is just using a font weight of bold, but otherwise it's the same font throughout the project. Okay, so how does 6.1 differ from 6.0 or earlier builds? Well, in 6.1, we've brought in the style sheet or the fonts into the skin. In the other builds, they were actually in the um, HTML page. So, if I open up Skin Editor and we have a look here, you can see that I've got the embedded style sheet. If I click on that, you'll see that these are the this this is the style sheet that we've got. So we've got our class, which is GG Skin. So basically, any text box that opens in the skin will use this font family or this set of families. So in other words, we've got the first font. If that's not available. It uh, falls back to where if that's not available it falls back to the others and we've also got a font size as well of say 14 so I'm just gonna tidy this up a little bit so let's just tab and then get to the end where we've got the font size and then our curly bracket so that's just laying it out to make it a little bit clearer to see okay so I'm gonna click OK to that now what I, what, what I did say is we're going to use Google Fonts. That's the whole point of the video. So let's do that. Let's go to Google Fonts. And if we look here, first first search uh, hit is the Google Fonts. Now, there's loads here, absolute loads. They're free to use for commercial and private work. Um, yeah, there's just loads. Right, now you can search for a font if you know what you're looking for. I'm, I like a font that's called black ops I like this for titles and and tool tips and stuff so I'm gonna add that to my little draw down here and then there's a um, we're just gonna search for a font really to use for the info text so let's use this one click here and add that to my selection um, right I'm gonna leave it there to be honest um, I don't I mean you can add as many fonts as you want but I'm only gonna have two different um, typefaces in my project so I only need two fonts so with this open um, what you can see is the two fonts I've selected but also what we need to do is we need to copy and paste this URL so um, I'm gonna copy it from in between the first set of quotes there we go and copy go to Pano 2 VR skin editor and under external files select type um, CSS we've got JavaScript and CSS and I'm going to paste it in under CSS because these are CSS fonts okay so now the skin knows where to go to get the fonts all right um, okay so we're going to open up style sheet and we're going to add these fonts to the style okay so the first font that I'm going to use which is I'm using for tool tips and titles so I'm going to copy that go back to the skin and how I'm going to set this up is hit return and I'm going to use the class dot gg skin dot tool tip all right and then I'm going to open with a curly bracket hit return tab paste in my font return tab I'm going to copy the font size from here and paste that in and then hit return tab and finish that with a curly bracket now let me just walk you through this this class is GG skin so this will use this font throughout the project if I don't specify a class now I could have just put tooltip here but I've actually I've actually um, stacked it I've got um, uh, .gg skin .tooltip. the reason why I've done this is if this tour ends up going into a, a website that's got a, a style sheet um, that's actually got tooltip as one of the styles, then it's quite possible that my 
my tour could start end up using their font or vice versa it could be that the web start starts using my font so to stop that from happening what we're saying is this is a path so basically we've got um, we, we're going to be looking for the class tooltip within the skin all right so that's quite important so let's add a couple more uh, uh, returns I'm going to add another class so dot gg skin dot and let's just call it info return tab let's go back to the website and let's just copy that font and back to the skin uh, paste that in and then what I'm going to do is hit return tab let's grab that font size return tab and then close with a curly bracket now that one I didn't open so let's open the curly bracket there we go so that's that's all correct now the thing is is this is going to be tooltips and uh, titles so I'm just going to change the font size to say 18 all right so that's pretty much my style shape so what we're going to do now is go into the skin and tell the text boxes which font to use so I'm going to click OK on my style sheet go into the skin so let's go to the info text box and have a look at the info title now if you remember what I said was we're using all the same font by default but I just used a font weight of bold all right now we've already put this into the component but I'm going to delete that because this font is quite bold to start with all right so what I'm going to do is I only need to put the class in for tooltip here we go if I go to the body text all I need now is to put the class in for info all right it already knows it's within the skin so dot gg skin so let's publish this out there is the default font for the uh, tooltip but when I click on the pop-up you'll see that we're now using the black ops font at the top and the little squiggly font at the bottom here we go now obviously I want to use my black ops for the tooltip because that was the whole point of calling it tooltip so I just need to go back into the skin go to the hotspot um, open up the tooltip text box and type in the class of tooltip there we go so close save and publish and we should now have on hover my black ops text or font for my tooltips there you go that's how to use google fonts within pano 2vr 6.1 and as always thanks for watching